The frame shows a man in camouflage with his face half covered who did not introduce himself personally but only said that he was recording a video on behalf of the 810th Brigade. In a nervous voice, the man in military uniform told the truth about how the Russians themselves are squeezing food and even electronic warfare systems from their own people, buying them with money from the occupiers themselves. I won't say anything about the humanitarian aid that is coming to us, but unfortunately not all of it is coming. God bless it. Food and medicine, that's okay. The most important thing that was coming to us was the electronic warfare, for which we raised money as a team and my parents raised money for it, among other things, the man said in the video. Then the occupier explained who the Kadyrovites were and what they did. Recently, we were supposed to have the electronic warfare system. Do you know where it is now? It is installed on the Tiger vehicle of the Akmat unit and we were left naked before leaving without anything. That's life. The Kadyrovites are Chechen militias with a sinister reputation deployed alongside Russian troops in Ukraine. Ukrainians have said that the Chechens have been among the most brutal of the Kremlin's invading forces. Ramzan Kadyrov, a Putin ally who rules Chechnya, is accused of rights abuses, including torture and executions, proudly posts videos of his men fighting in Ukraine on Telegram. He alleges they are fighting the Nazis of Kyiv using the Kremlin's language. The son of a Chechen independence leader who switched sides to join the Russians, Ramzan Kadyrov is President Vladimir Putin's protégé and is regularly accused of shocking human rights violations in the Muslim-majority Republic of Chechnya. Kadyrov welcomed Putin's invasion of Ukraine and immediately said he would send forces there. Aurelia Kampana, an expert in political violence and Russia at the University of Laval in Canada, said the deployment of the Kadyrovtsi is part of Moscow's psychological war on Ukraine. The announcement of the entry into the war of Kadyrov's troops and the propaganda that surrounds it are part of this effort to destabilize the enemy, she said. The Israeli military said that 85 projectiles were launched from Lebanon toward northern Israel in a significant burst of fire Tuesday. The military said most of the projectiles were intercepted by Israel's aerial defense system. Israel's rescue service Megan David Adam said a 70-year-old woman was moderately wounded by shrapnel. Israeli media aired footage of what appeared to be minor damage caused to buildings near the coastal city of Haifa. The military also said that it struck Hezbollah targets in the Beirut suburb of Dahia, where the militant group has a strong presence. The Israeli military ordered people to evacuate areas near the city of Khan Yunus in the southern Gaza Strip on Monday after Hamas fired rockets at Tel Aviv. The military had also ordered an evacuation of the areas east of Khan Yunus earlier in the war, when it sent ground troops into the territory's second largest city. The latest orders on Monday came after a barrage of five rockets triggered air raid sirens in central Israel, lightly wounded two women and caused minor damage. The military said the rockets were fired from the area of Khan Yunus. 
Hamas claimed the attack, which came as Israelis marked the anniversary of the October 7 attack out of Gaza that triggered the war. On Sunday, the military reiterated warnings for the entire population of northern Gaza to flee south. Those warnings date back to the early weeks of the war, when Israeli forces sealed off the north and launched heavy operations there. A year of war has inflicted heavy losses on Hamas, but its fighters have repeatedly regrouped in areas where Israel has carried out large operations.